girl can cook She got the recipe, she got what you need Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel and today we are making crown royal apple pie Yes, you read it right. You heard it right crown royal in the apple pie. All right So let's go ahead and get started You've seen the ingredients and this is the first thing that we are going to do We're gonna cut up these apples and I'm just gonna use my paring knife here to kind of take the skin off of these apples because first of all, I don't want any skin on my apples in my apple pie, all right? Now, if you have a corer or a potato peeler or whatever kind of kitchen gadget you wanna use, that is totally fine. This is the way that I like to cut them because I like to save the cores for juicing. So I'm just gonna cut them just like this. It does take a little bit of time, but you wanna make sure that you get that skin off, all right? You can cut these apples any kind of way that you want. You wanna put them in cubes, put them in cubes. You wanna put them in slices, put them in slices. Like I said, I'm gonna use my cores a little bit later, but you need to get as much flesh as you can off of the apple. And here, I'm just gonna slice this apple into some thin strips, not too thin. Um, I don't have any measuring tape out, so I don't know how thick it is, but that side to do. And I'm gonna place them in a bowl and squeeze some lemon juice on top of them. I'm only using half of a lemon. If you wanna use more, you can. But if you add a tablespoon of lemon juice to a cup of water, it can prevent browning, all right? So now I'm gonna add in one tablespoon of vanilla extract, pure vanilla, all right? And one fourth cup of granulated sugar as well as one fourth cup of brown sugar. Feel free to add any amount of sugar that you would like, all right? So now we're gonna add in our spices. We're doing one tablespoon of ground cinnamon, one fourth teaspoon of nutmeg, and just a pinch of allspice, all right? Just a pinch. And now it's time for the good stuff. Okay, we're gonna add in a shot of Crown Royal Apple. It is totally optional. But you know, if you like a little more, add about two, maybe three, maybe four, it's up to you. And we're gonna mix all of these ingredients together, give them a good, good toss, good mix, and incorporate all of those seasonings and sugar, all that good stuff. And then we're gonna add in two tablespoons of flour with just a pinch of salt. Like I said, just a pinch, no more than that. And you wanna make sure that you combine it, all right? Make sure you taste it before you add the flour. We don't wanna eat raw flour, all right? And this is the consistency that you want. Now look, I should have cut this part out. <laughs> but anyway, if you want to add your little more, add some more. It's up to you, honey. All right? All right. So mix that up, like I said. And then we're going to move on to the next step. All right. So let's get into this pie crust. I am using a Pillsbury rollout pie crust, okay? I did not make this from scratch, everybody. This is Pillsbury, which is okay. And you're just gonna press this into the pie pan. All right, look at how pretty it is. It's actually a really good pie crust, all right? And we're gonna add in our apples to it. You should get two rolls in that package, all right? So one will be for the bottom, the other one will be for the top. But you're gonna add in your apples, kind of save that liquid until after we don't want the pie crust to get all soggy and all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna pour it in after we get the apples in. Okay, so remember, I told you that there is a second roll in the Pillsbury pie crust box, all right? So you wanna take that second roll, roll it out, take you a pizza cutter or a very sharp knife and start making you some lines going across vertically and make sure that they are as even as possible, all right? Now I'm not the best cutter and that last line looks a little bit too thick, but that's all right because I can use it for something else, all right? So let's go ahead and get our you know, pizza cutters out and cut these lines going across super, super easy. And now we're going to make our lattice crust. We are not going to let this crust defeat us today in the name of Jesus, all right? So let's go ahead and get started. So you're gonna take your strips, start with the longest one in the center, and you wanna add about five going in the same direction. This is the easy part. Okay, make sure that all of your strips are even. You know, that one you just saw there was a little bit, it was kind of thick, and we didn't want that one. All right, but make sure they're even. Make sure you're adding them vertically in the same direction. All right, so now for this next part, we're going to take two of the strips or three, whichever way you want to start. But if you're following along with me, take two of the strips that are alternating and lay another strip underneath it and lay it back down. I mean, you know, that's it. 
That's all you got to do. And then you're going to take three this time, not two, the other three. And you're going to do the same thing. And you're going to repeat that process until you have the entire pie covered just like this. So now I'm just going to take the edges. I'm going to trim them with my little kitchen shears here. All right, you can use scissors, you can use a knife, but you just want to cut off this excess pie crust around the surface. We don't want that hanging out chilling because all it's going to do is burn and look ugly. We want a nice looking pie. So save those strips, put them to the side, make sure you cut it, get it all neat, and then we're going to use those in the next step. So for some reason, this little part right here is looking a little, you know, empty. So I added an extra strip. If that's how you feel, you can do that on your pie too. But if it didn't bother you as much as it bothered me, then leave it alone. All right. So now you want to tuck your pie crust. All right. Tuck it into the pan because if you put it over the rim, guess what? It's going to cook over the rim. We don't want that. All right. And those extra pie strips that you have, if you tuck it and it looks pretty terrible, that's okay because we can take those strips, the extra ones that I just told you about, and cover our crust, all right? You're going to take that and go all the way around the pie. Now, this part is not required, but it does make the pie look a little bit more put together. So now we are done. You want to top that off with a little bit of egg wash or butter, either way. And you're going to bake this at 375 degrees for 40 to 45 minutes all right or you want to make sure you bake it until that crust is nice and brown it depends on your oven and you want to let that set and cool for at least 30 minutes or you'll burn your mouth we don't want that and this is how your beautiful crown royal apple pie will turn out look at it looking all proud and majestic it is beautiful and it tastes even better so let's go ahead and get a slice of this out here don't judge me for using my spatula all right and we're going to take that out. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. It has cooled down. It's not as hot as it was earlier. And guess what? You can't have apple pie without ice cream. We got the classic vanilla ice cream going on top. And I'm also going to drizzle a little bit of salted caramel on this apple pie, honey. It's going to be good. And we are going to serve it up. I'm going to transfer it from this dish to another. And this is our final product. Look at that. Delicious. All right, now I want you guys to try this recipe out. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And I want to thank you guys for watching as always. And I'll see y'all next time in the next video. Bye.